Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Raw. And uh, it just ended right now. And I gotta say, it was a decent Raw. Uh, really enjoyed uh, some of the stuff uh, that was on tonight's uh, Raw. Uh, even though there was some that was kind of meh. But all in all, it was a decent Raw. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, the return of uh, of Undertaker, and then you had you know Shawn Michaels, uh, HBK plugging his uh, movie that's coming out soon. So, but yeah, all in all, I said it was a decent RAW, and uh, pretty much the show opens with uh, Stephanie backstage uh, in her office, and she's given uh, Mick Foley his 2016 performance review uh, as general manager of RAW. And, you know, they're talking about how the rumors of uh, Undertaker being there tonight. Uh, Seth Rollins comes in and tells uh, that, you know, tells everybody that he is in the Royal Rumble. He's going to participate in the Rumble. Uh, Braun Strowman comes in saying that he wants Goldberg and Roman Reigns. And uh, just, you know, to end that segment, Seth and Braun just beat the hell out of each other. Uh, back there and uh, eventually leads into the opening of the show and it was a uh, it was a decent segment uh, you know you had uh, Seth and Braun just taking out each other thought that was really cool and then uh, it led to for it well we all thought it would be the uh, 2 one one handicap match uh, for the uh, US title uh, it was you know Jericho and Owens versus Reigns, but eventually it did not uh, happen uh, in the opening of the show because uh, Braun Strowman uh, comes out and him, uh, Jericho and Owens start beating the hell out of Reigns. Uh, Rollins, Seth Rollins comes out, you know, with a chair, uh, you know, to save uh, Reigns, and he hits all three of he hits all three of them with the chair. You know, uh, Braun. Jericho and Owens, and uh, that led to uh, both uh, Rollins and Reigns hitting Braun with the chair and you know hitting him out of the ring. Uh, Stephanie comes out and makes a match against uh, Seth and Braun Strowman, which that eventually leads to uh, you know the match that we get after the commercial break, and of course it was Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman, and it was a decent match. Uh, gotta say I liked uh, how it went. Uh, he just had uh, Rollins doing everything he can to take uh, Strowman out. But eventually, uh, Braun was just uh, decimating Rollins uh, through the match. Uh, he had uh, Rollins standing up uh, at, the end of, at the end, almost at the end of the match. He standing up on the top uh, turnbuckle. And he was going to do like a, uh, you know, strike, you know, his arm to Strowman. But Strowman got out of the way and then just, Rollins just hit his arm into uh just hit his arm into the uh you know the barricade and the match ended in a double count out because both of them were out of the ring uh after the match uh you had uh rollins uh keeping away from uh you know rollins just keeping Strowman from getting back in the ring because uh braun had a uh you know got a chair and he was going to hit uh rollins with it but that eventually, you know, didn't end up happening because Rollins had the chair and, you know, like I say he was just trying to keep Strowman from entering the ring again. So, but all in all, it was a decent uh, match. Uh, really uh, enjoyed what I saw. And then uh, after that, you had, uh, we see Bailey and Sasha backstage. They talk about how Bailey won the match uh, last week against Nia Jax to become the number one contender for uh, Charlotte's uh, Royal Women's title at the Rumble. Uh, Charlotte's there and tells, you know, rubs it in Sasha's face about, you know, how many times that, you know, has uh, Sasha beat her at a pay per view and how many times has she won the title, you know, back from her. And then it just has uh, Nia coming in uh naya starts being the hell out of bailey and uh sasha uh also charlotte ends up being the hell uh out of uh 
our bold Sasha and Bailey. And after that, just Nia just grabs Charlotte and uh, freaking her out. So, and uh, the next match was a cruiserweight match. It was uh, Jack Gallagher versus Drew Gulak. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty entertaining match, even though the crowd, as always, wasn't behind them. Uh, I like uh, Jack Gallagher. I think he's uh, really good. Uh, but he had uh, Jack Gall Gallagher uh, winning the match, uh, which is pretty good. And after the match, he was interviewed. Uh, they asked if he had any words for Arya Davari. And uh, Gallagher stated that, you know, he has words for Davari. And uh, he wants Davari to uh, meet him tomorrow night on 205 Live to a parlay, you know, like to, uh, you know, talk, you know, about questions or anything like that. And, if he's, and he said Devar, if Davari doesn't agree that he's going to fisticuff him. Uh, Gallagher. So, but uh, all in all, it was a it was a good match. Uh, Jack Gallagher and Drew Gulak. And then uh, you see uh, Mick Foley backstage. He's looking for uh, the Undertaker. Uh, Stephanie comes back, and you know she wants Undertaker to be in the ring, and uh, she has given uh, Mick Foley an hour uh, for Taker to. You know to come to the ring so and all this rumors about you know taker being here tonight and then uh you had of course when it came back uh you know after that segment you had uh hbk the man himself Shawn michaels return uh really happy to see him you know there see him uh return you know for that little uh brief you know, moment because you know he's just there to promote his new film. Uh, I think, yeah, he was there to promote his new film uh, that's coming out on the twentieth. Uh, God, what it's called, but uh, let's look it up. But he mentioned it tonight. He mentioned it tonight. Yeah, it's called the Resurrection of Gavin Stone, and it also had and uh. What's really cool is that he's in it, and also, uh, what's his name, Brett Dalton is in it too, as uh, probably the lead character. If you all know, don't know who Brett Dalton is, he was in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, he played uh, Ward and uh, also Hive in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which uh, was really cool. But, uh, you know, Shawn Michaels was came out to the ring saying how he misses, you know, the fans and... You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm, we all sure that we miss him uh, also, you know. And he said he also misses coming out every week and entertaining everybody. Uh, he talks about uh, the Rumble, uh, the 1997 Rumble. He mentions, you know, because that was 20 years ago uh, from uh, this year. Uh, he also mentioned when he won uh, the WWE uh, Championship at uh, that Rumble in 97 against uh, Psycho Sid. Uh, which was the main event of that uh, of that Royal Rumble, and uh, Rusev comes out saying that you know he wanted Lana to be put in the movie, and uh, you know it just wasn't going to happen. HBK told me that it wasn't going to happen. You know the film was already edited. You know putting you know they were talking about CGI and everything, and and so when cast come out and you know they praise uh, Shawn Michaels, and then they start roasting. Uh, Rusev and Lana about you know movies that they should have been like uh, Puss in Boots they mentioned uh, Blow uh, you know some other uh, films that they mentioned which was really funny and then uh, Rusev wanted to put you know wanted to put Jinder Mahal uh, in a match with Big Cass and that's what happened when we when Raw came back from the commercial break it was Big Cass versus Jinder Mahal and this was just a wasted match. Uh, Big Cass did uh, really good in it, but he was just dominating through the match, you know, taking out Jinder Mahal. But Jinder Mahal is just a jobber. So we all pretty much knew that Big Cass was going to win the match. And he did win the match with the Empire Elbow to Jinder, uh, picking, up, picking up the win. So all in all, it was just a wasted match. 
And it was the next uh, Cruiserweight match. It was uh, Neville versus Lince J. Dorado. And uh, this was a pretty good uh, Cruiserweight match. You know, I like this. I've said this uh, before. You know, I like this style of Neville, you know, since he turned heel. I uh, think they're going to make Neville uh, uh, as big as, you know, he was uh, when he was a face and, you know, when he was in NXT. But uh, Neville got the win uh, with the Rings of Saturn uh, to Lynche Dorado uh, to score the win. And he, after the match, he had uh, Neville, you know, he just keep uh, attacking uh, Lynche Dorado. Uh, Rich Swan, uh, you know, put uh, Neville put uh, Dorado back in the uh, the Rings of Saturn uh, submission move. And then just Rich Swan comes out uh, throwing, you know, the hands at Neville, taking him out. So, you know, it's going to be a pretty good uh, build up to uh, their match and, uh, you know, for the uh, the Cruiserweight title uh, when that gets put on the line. So, all in all, uh, I I liked uh, Neville, Neville versus uh, Lynch Dorado. It was a pretty good match, decent. Uh, you could tell the crowd, also the crowd wasn't behind uh, this match either. I don't know what's the deal with, you know, the crowd not getting behind these cruiserweights because they're really talented and, you know, really good. Because I know, you know, they say, oh, they don't use them properly, but at least they, you know, they, they have 205 Live. You know, I heard that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good show uh, that they do after SmackDown on the, uh, the WWE Network. And then uh, after that, you had... Uh, Sasha and Bailey coming into uh, Stephanie's office, and uh, Sasha demanded her to make a match against Charlotte and Nia uh, next week. But uh, Stephanie ends up making the match for tonight, and you know she's being real bitchy to uh, Sasha and Bailey. So that eventually led to uh, the match uh, that they have that they're having tonight, and the next was uh, Luke Gallows versus Sheamus. He had uh, Carl Anderson on uh, commentary along with uh, Cesaro. And this was a okay match. Uh, really uh, liked it. It wasn't perfect or great, though. Uh, you know, and then uh, during the match, you had uh, Carl Anderson and uh, Cesaro going on stage, uh, just taking them, you know, taking each other out. And he had uh, Sheamus uh, getting the win with the bro kick to Luke Gallows uh, to score the win. Uh, but all in all, it was a uh, okay match. It wasn't great or perfect. And then uh, Roman Reigns gets interviewed backstage saying that he's going to stand tall against uh, Owens and Jericho in the match tonight. And uh, you know that he's going to walk out the, uh, the U.S. Uh, champion. You know, still walk out and retain the championship. Uh, you have uh, Mick Foley out in the ring calling The Undertaker out. Uh, Stephanie also comes out, you know, believing that Undertaker might not show. Uh, but lo and behold, Undertaker arrives, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, Taker, when he's in the ring, he announces that. He is participating in the uh, Royal Rumble match, which is awesome. Uh, say, saying that no one controls him, uh, which is cool. That that whole uh, this whole segment uh, was amazing, was really good. Especially the surprise announcement that Taker was is going to participate in the uh, the Royal Rumble match. So, but it was a great uh, segment, in my opinion. And then uh, it was uh, Nia Jax and Charlotte versus Bailey and Sasha Banks, uh, which, a, which I thought was a pretty entertaining women's match uh, that I really liked. Uh, but you had uh, Nia Jax and Charlotte getting the win. Uh, Nia hitting uh, Nia hitting the leg drop on uh, Bailey uh, to win. Uh, but although it was a it was a decent match. Uh, really uh, liked it. And we go backstage and we see uh, Norm Dar. Norm Dar, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And Alicia Fox there backstage. 
uh, Alicia kisses uh, Noam Dar, Noam Dar, and uh, she said that, uh, and she said to him that, uh, you know, he's horrible at uh, kissing, uh, which was really funny, though. It was a funny little segment. Uh, New Day, uh, when we came back from the break, New Day was out with Titus again. Uh, Titus apologizing to Xavier about last week. Uh, they actually show, in this whole segment, they actually show Titus's uh, NXT uh, rookie thing when he was a rookie in NXT back in uh, 2010. And they showed the clip of him with the uh, the beer keg when uh, he was running and then he tripped. If you all remember watching that NXT uh, where he was carrying the beer keg and he tripped. Um, they just kept on rewinding it back and forth of him tripping, uh, trying to embarrass him out there again. And they actually made Titus uh, do the... Uh, the beer keg run all over again, you know, tonight. Uh, but, you know, he did it at first. He did it right. He didn't trip. And then it kind of fit. And then it failed at the end because uh, he, he dropped the beer keg uh, before he crossed over the line, before he stepped over it. Uh, Kofi agreed to uh, take on Titus tonight, which that eventually led to uh, the match uh, when we got back, when Raw came back from commercial. It's Kofi Kingston versus Tyus O'Neal. Uh, it was a pretty good match. Uh, Kofi Kingston uh, was good in it. You know, it's just, you know, like another one of these matches where they're just burying Titus, you know, just making him look weak. Uh, Kofi got the win with uh, Trouble in Paradise. So, all in all, it was a decent match. Uh, really enjoyed seeing uh, Kofi Kingston go one-on-one -on -one with uh, Titus. And then uh, the next match was the main event, which was uh, Jericho and Owens versus Roman Reigns. Uh, Two-on-one handicap match for the uh, United States title. Uh, the match didn't officially get started because, uh, you know, Roman, because Reigns was, uh, you know, just attacking uh, Jericho and Owens, you know, on stage. Uh, you kind of had a moment, you had a moment where, where Reigns was trying to lock uh, Jericho in the, uh, the shark tank, but which eventually failed because Owens attacked uh, attacked Reigns from uh, you know locking the uh, the shark tank and putting uh, Jericho in there. Uh, you had uh, Owens and Jericho push uh, Reigns into the shark tank which eventually led to uh, the shark tank going off stage. Uh, and then you had just Owens uh, at the end you know trying to uh, distract uh, Reigns and, you know, giving Jericho, you know, the uh, the win. Uh, but Jericho ended up getting the win with the code breaker and uh, Jericho and Owens win the match and Jericho is the new United States champion, which is really awesome. Uh, definitely glad that uh, both Jericho and Owens have, you know, titles on them. And, you know, I like how the way that they're doing this Jericho and Owens uh, uh, storyline, their whole, uh, you know, best, fr their whole friendship, uh, storyline, which is, uh, really good. Uh, they're, they're very entertaining though. I like how, you know, this is very entertaining, uh, with Jericho and Owens. And, uh, next week we have, uh, Brock Lesnar, uh, returning on, on Raw. Uh, because uh, it's going to be the uh, the go home show for uh, I think it is mm, no not not that I thought it was going to be the go home show for the rumble but the rumble is on the uh, the 29th I think so so yeah so we have Lesnar uh, appearing on Raw next week you know, probably to uh, you know talk about uh, Goldberg, you know, his plans for Goldberg at the Rumble. So, but yeah, so like, so all in all, I thought Raw was decent tonight. Like I said, it was a decent show. You know, great seeing uh, Taker there and uh, great seeing uh, Shawn Michaels uh, there for, uh, you know, just there to promote his film. So, but yeah, so anyways, uh, thank you. That's it for my uh, Raw review for tonight. Uh, thank you all for watching and be on the lookout for tomorrow for my SmackDown review. 
tomorrow night. So yeah, so hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. And until the next video, which will be my SmackDown uh, review tomorrow night, I'll see you all later. Bye.